course, this bombshell video has the Brandon Williams cam doing damage control. From WSYR TV Syracuse, the local station, you're watching News Channel 9 at 6 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Drama in Congress tonight, and we're not just talking about downstate Representative George Santos, who got expelled today. Syracuse Area Congressman Brandon Williams staying mostly quiet today after his late night defense of the profane tirade, threatening his former campaign manager. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan shows us the altercation caught on camera. Congressman Brandon Williams says he was defending his wife and daughter when he put his finger in the face of his former campaign manager and chief of staff at a lobbying firm's holiday party at Washington, D.C.'s International Spy Museum. You understand me? I don't know. You understand me? I mean, you think I know that staff member, Michael Gordon, denies the comments he's being accused of as does a second former staff member there, Ryan Sweeney, who's behind the camera recording. The video getting a lot of attention. Before being thrown out of Congress, Williams' fellow New York Republican George Santos commented on it. Quote, hey, they said I was lying today on the House floor when I said it's all about late partying and drinking. Here you have some solid proof, America. Williams is running for a second term. The Democrats running in a primary to take on Williams each had something to say. John Mannion posted, quote, as a teacher in a classroom for almost 30 years, it matters how one conducts themselves. And later, quote, what an embarrassment. It's time for new leadership in Congress. Sarah Clee Hood sent this, quote, some say that women are too emotional to hold elected office. And yet here is our esteemed Congressman Brandon Williams. This conduct is an abuse of power and the people of NY22 deserve better. Clemmy Harris tells me this should surprise no one, writing, quote, Williams is a mega extremist. As such, the berating and threatening bodily posturing he displayed reflect a larger problem of extremism among House Republicans and, equally important, a danger to democracy if we don't eliminate extremism and authoritarianism within our political structure. <laughs> The race is considered a toss-up, with now a new factor. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And Williams did not get back to our request for an interview, and the former staff members involved did not respond to us either today.